And joining us now in an exclusive interview, we have Anita Bospaf. She's the daughter of Subhash Chandra Bose. Thank you so much, ma'am, for taking out the time. Uh, you always have uh, for us as a, a special day, an important day. But in the midst of all of this, this controversy really over uh, uh, the RSS bid to try and appropriate uh, Netaji's uh, legacy. Your response to this? Namaskar to all of you. And thank you for having retained your interest in my father Netaji's uh, work and in his ideas. And by uh, the fact that uh, on the occasion of his, the 126th birth anniversary, so many Indians join in celebrating this event is a great tribute to him. And I always feel very grateful for that. And I think it is a thank you uh, by many men and women today for what he has sacrificed throughout his life for India. <clears throat> and I'm very happy that they still do that. Uh, there is a controversy ongoing uh, to question who owns Netaji, so to say. Well, first of all, I would say the people of India own Netaji, all those who remember him, and most of all, of course, those who also uphold his ideas and his ideals. Uh, Netaji passed away on the 18th of August 1945, that's more than 77 years ago. And I think if you remember him today, ultimately, it is not important whether today the men and women who honor him agreed with all of the aspects of his work with him. But I think there was one uh, overwhelming theme in his life, and that was the struggle for his country's independence. And I think there were many men and women who shared this great objective at the time. And there were men and women from all different uh, parties, from the whole spectrum, from right to left, who had that effort, but they did not always see eye to eye with mm. all the uh, intricate details of how to do it and what exactly to uh, take up as the main issues. But uh, the overall objective was the same. And of course, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, who, whom my father called the father of our nation, uh, was a man with whom he did not always, always agree uh, but they agreed that they wanted to see India free and a number of other things. But there were also aspects on which they did not agree. Mahatma Gandhi, for example, uh, felt that uh, nonviolence uh, in the struggle for independence was the only possible approach to take. Mm -hmm. And uh, Netaji, as we know, felt that this was one approach, but there should also have been uh, a military approach since mm -hmm. there was an ongoing war at the time to be expected. And then, of course, uh, in 1939, <laughs> the war began in the Western theater of the war. In the East, it had started already earlier. Um, there's a controversy today whether uh, RSS uh, coincide uh, and gr agree with Netaji's values. Well, I think. At the time of uh, the struggle for independence, they certainly agreed that they wanted to see India free, but uh, they did not agree on all the aspects uh, that went along with it. And of course, one major aspect where they did not agree, at least at the time, and I would be very happy if the RSS has changed its views uh, in recent times, uh, was the fact that uh, Netaji was convinced that men and women and men of all religions and of all castes should live peacefully and, res and in respect with each other. And that was an overwhelming uh, aspect of his work in all his important undertakings. He always felt that it should be members of different creeds who cooperate. He felt that government as such should be secular and not uh, dominated by one religion. But on the other hand, if you look at what he did, his work in the Indian National Army, 
and uh, the different steps in his own life before that uh, were always involved in a cooperative uh, venture between different religions. For example, in the INA, uh, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs uh, and other religions lived together peacefully. They did not have Hindu and Muslim tea, but they had their meals together and they invited each other for their respective religious festivals. And in his undertakings like uh, the submarine journey from Germany to the Far East in 1943, or his last uh, leg on, from Saigon on his way to Tokyo, he was accompanied by one person only, and that one person was always a Muslim, and uh, partly because he felt it, it should signify the joint uh, effort that members of all religions uh, work together in the struggle for independence yeah. and of course after India became independent even though in a way that he would did not uh, well would not have welcomed that is uh, part, uh, the partition of partition, India partition, yeah. he uh, he certainly uh, would have seen India as a as a region as as a conglomerate of countries where <coughs> members of all religions should cooperate and not fight each other. Mm. And if RSS joins this view, I will welcome it in a great manner. So if the RSS joins this view, I just want to reiterate, ma'am, so uh, uh, Subhashan Bose, was, Netaji was an avowed secularist and critics uh, point out that he believed in secularism. He, uh, his concept of India was a sovereign, uh, a secular, a democratic republic. And uh, critics are pointing out that this goes against the Hindutva ideology of the RSS. What you are saying is, you are, uh, as his child, you are open to anyone, you know, trying to appropriate his legacy, as long as, uh, in your words, you're saying the RSS is willing to change to uh, his view of uh, India as a uh, sovereign, secular, democratic republic? Well, I don't feel that today we should appropriate Netaji as anything ongoing today. I think we should all join together in honoring him, even if we do not agree with him on some of the issues. But uh, at the time okay. when Netaji was active, uh, there were certain differences uh, between uh, what uh, RSS and what he felt and other uh, groups for that matter, also disagreements with Congress. But today, I think we should uh, emphasize the respect that we offer him and the thanks that we offer him. Uh, I do not approve of anyone appropriating Netaji. He was an important son of India. Mm -hmm. He was an important person in leading uh, the struggle for independence. And that should be important uh, and not whether uh, he agreed with uh, one aspect here and one aspect there. I think let, it, let us concentrate on honoring him, mm -hmm. but uh, let, let him be seen as he was and let him be seen uh, with the values, with the views. And I mean, if we read his uh, speeches, if we with his writings, I think we know what he stood for, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it is mute to try to make him into something else nowadays. I think that is the important thing, and of course I have another concern uh, in which I hope that the RSS and others in India will join me, uh, that is bringing Netaji's remains back to India. It was his first and foremost wish to see his country free and live in free India, that was not granted to him. Yeah. But I think after all these years, it would be at least a small gesture if we could <coughs> have his remains repatriated to his country. Anita Bospaf, uh, daughter of Subhash Chandra Bose, thank you, ma'am, uh, for your time. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, and Jai Hind. Jai Hind.